Hey, this is Gleb Bakhmutov, and today I want to show you React App Actions, a little project that I've been having fun with. Let's write a test that, let's say, increments a counter. And we're going to visit the URL, and the base URL is all configured. And when you visit, you will see that there is a couple components. It's a different React component. One is a class base, one is functional, but in both cases, I can increment the counter or like double it right away. Now, this particular component, let's look at the class one, right? We can get by example class, right? And it selects the top one. And then what? Um, well, within, I could, for example, uh, get the, uh, the button, for example, uh, that can, says click me, and I can click it a couple of times. And if I do that, then I think the count uh, should be two, right? Let me see the selector on this two, and it's data say count. Okay, so I can say contains data two, and that's good enough, right? It exists, so it's good. Now, that's nice, but can we, for example, confirm the properties or props of this component? or maybe the internal state. This is the implementation of that component. Notice that we pass for props, there is initial count, um, there is set state calls, right? I would like to actually check the state and check the props. So this is the little thing that I've been uh, playing around with where, okay, we can get this component, right, by CSS, which gives us a uh, you know, dumb element. And then you can say get component, which is my custom child command. And what does it give us? Well, it gives us an object. And if we inspect this object uh, in the dev tools, right? I don't have very good output, as you can see, for the... Um, I don't even have a log for it. So let's just print it by using side then and console. Okay, so this is my component. And notice I have a context props, right? like lots of interesting stuff. I have a, uh, the prototype which points at the right class, and the product of that points at the React component class. So one of the cool things right away we can do, we can, for example, invoke set state. And we can say count, and we can create a state that is impossible to create through the UI, for example, by setting minus 60. That's pretty sweet. Uh, well, if we can set the state, we can also confirm its state, right? And uh, should deep right now two after clicking it twice, right? Uh, what about props? We can probably confirm the props, props, and we can confirm all of them, or let's so say should have property uh, initial count and I believe it's zero right initially okay. way too many packets okay so we confirm the state we call the state even um, let's even confirm that we can spy on set state that the app is calling when for example we say double okay so let's get the component then we get the component let's say and we'll spy on component object set state method and let's give it an alice so that we know that it was called. And notice, like, if I click, it calls set state. And if I click double, it calls it again, but we've uh, doubled the number. Now let's, let's call it. So I'll say site contains example um, button. And let's say double me, right? So we'll call this button that doubles. If you click, so this should work. And now let's get the set state and we'll say should have been called once with and you know count is in this case four right because we click the button twice and when it's a double we change the button right from two to four and we can see it in debug so we can confirm all sorts of things i think it works even with functional components and it's a lot of fun to be honest to be able to do this and the craziest thing about this is that if you look at the sources, if you go to app, you know, and so on, this is a production build of React app. 
right? So it's not even the dev. We can literally peer into the components and play with them, access, confirm properties, invoke property, like set state methods, you know, all from our end-to-end -end test with any, without any modification to the underlying application code. So stay tuned and I hope to make React App Actions a really useful library.